Okay. Morning. My name is Maduma Mafike. I originally come from Lesotho and by profession I'm an occupational therapist. Um, last year I came back to the University of Cape Town to do my Masters in Occupational Therapy. And during that time I was approached to be a lecturer replacement for my supervisor who was doing her PhD there. And one of the modules that I had to lecture was the conceptual frameworks of occupational therapy. I found that during the lectures, the students were finding the material quite abstract and very difficult to apply and actually conceptualize. So they would move into a comfortable zone where they would choose one of the more easy to understand theories, the more straightforward ones. But actually, occupational therapy in nature is quite an abstract uh, profession and needs one to think a bit more laterally and critically. So I approached uh, the then head of department, Professor Lana van Nike, who advised that there was a fund available from the Center of Education and Technology. And if we would apply for that fund, to which was encouraging academics to use technology in their lectures, in facilitating learning for students. And then the fund was an OER fund. So I was asked to create this e-learning that would increase interactivity between the students and uh, make it more interesting. And in mind, I had to keep that the information that I was already create, going to create had to be simple enough to be to understand and conceptualize. And we wrote our proposal and were supported. Got the fund, and then uh, from the start, I was encouraged to. Uh, create the material as an open educational resource. So I had to keep that in mind, the, the copyright issues and the licensing. And I got advised on that. I had a very supportive team. And we went on and did my research and I used material from my then supervisor, Roshan Khalva, because she was teaching the course before me. So I adapted her material, did a bit more research and added on new information and the most recent uh, literature on the theories and then we create it as an open resource. Um, before we started on the creation of the open resource, we went online to find out what is available in the line of occupational therapy around conceptual frameworks or anything in occupational therapy and unfortunately we didn't find anything and which led to it being quite an exciting journey of creating something new, something nobody had done before. And it was nerve-wracking because I was very concerned that the original authors or the creators of the models would be reading what I said about their models or how I put it forward. And I really wanted to put it forward in the correct way, but as an open resource. And that really helped. We got feedback from around South Africa that other occupational therapists were finding the material quite exciting and useful. And since buying the books, the actual books and the readings for the models would be a bit more expensive, this uh, material that we created made it more open and more accessible to other people who otherwise wouldn't even use the particular models which I think is what happened with the Spanish-speaking community. The authors of an occupational therapy journal in the Spanish-speaking communities, I think, went through the same journey, looked for material. They wanted to introduce the, particularly the model of creative ability by Von Editoy, who is South African. And they went online to look for something to use that is put forward captures the essence of the model and is put forward is in as simple English as possible because they had to then translate it to Spanish. And they found my work, which was exciting. They approached me and asked if they could use it, translate it, and actually publish it as an introductory um, 
piece for the model of creative ability and I agreed, it was exciting. I did get advice from my team that I was working with and they thought it was a brilliant idea. And it was quite amazing that it got published and now the whole world knows about the model of creative ability, even the Spanish-speaking community.